that entire last exchange was like a good 20 seconds of Llama playing footsies, <laughs> waiting for the jump punish, gets the side air, takes the stock. He goes down, but that was an incredible maneuver coming yeah. up from Llama that gives his team what was the maneuver? one stock. I don't know what's happening, man. So I need the commentators to explain to me what's going on. Uh, I'm the new player that bad. needs uh, yeah. the commentators you know, to explain what's going on. You I know what I mean? It is funny watching this and thinking about commentary because I'm like, we'll, we'll this is what people who are new to Melee probably feel the when they watch Melee. Win. Maybe I should commentate more for newer players, dude. Commentating for newer players could be a good idea during top 8 so we have the most viewership. You know, we used to do this during majors. We actually used to do this like, like Scar, you know, if you go back and you watch commentary for even like Genesis is a couple years ago, we would talk about like pretty like you know, introductory level stuff um, every now and then on commentary. Like, there was a moment during, like, Mango Leffen where we talked about DI or something like that. Um, and we used to be better about this, I think, as a community. And I do feel like there's a place for it. But get to the stock. See, I, I mean, but I, I, I get it. for me, like, I don't even know where the damage is. Like, my, my level of Brawlhalla understanding is... I'm looking for the percents down here, and I don't see them, and I'm like, I don't really, I don't even know what the damage is. They're it's probably these little white red zero. little meters over here, just but I just don't know. I just literally don't know. I, 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 I need even that explained to me. You know what I'm saying? See, this punish game is really weird. I, yeah, it's, it's, you know, this makes me, watching this does make me wonder, like, is this how Melee looks to, like, people that don't get Melee? Like, the people don't play it? I feel like with Melee, you kind of get it, right? Like, you see, maybe that, you know what, honestly? Maybe that's why FGC guys, remember at EVO 2013, the FGC guys loved wobbling. They popped off every time the IC, uh, wobbles got a grab. Because I think it's very, like, you get it. You you don't really kind of know what's going on. There's a lot of shit flying around, and then all of a sudden, like, it gets a grab. It's like, oh, and people go crazy, and you know that guy's dead. And so you kind of, like, it's something. it gives you something to latch on to as the viewer, you know? Even if you don't know what's going on. Same with rest. That's right. That's right. Whereas, like, you know, shit like, man, okay. I feel like in Melee, like, stage control is really important. But if you watch a set with, like, foxes that can ledge dash really well, you watch neutral and they'll just be going. I mean, I don't know. Fuck, man. Me versus uh, Galen the Wise from yesterday. There were stocks where we would just go to the ledge and ledge dash over and over. And um, it kind of reminds me of this game where, like, you know, you'll see someone just kind of off the stage and then they just kind of get back to... to to center stage for for free, uh, and I I do think that melee kind of has that problem for spectators, because like you'll just ledge dash sometimes, and then it's like oh now I'm in the corner, now I'm in the center, you know, dude I love commentator drama. I I'm hoping that I get into some by the way. I don't know if you guys saw this. I tweeted it the melee hell guy. I hope this kid's. I hope this blows up. I hope he like responds and I I was looking for beef because Spark. I, I don't think he was talking about me because the time doesn't line up. I don't know who the fuck Spark was complaining about. I wanted to do the math. He was like, damn, Melee commentator's really talking shit, blah, blah, blah. And it was like 4, 11 p.m. So I guess maybe he's talking about Zoo and Vit, which is crazy, by the way, because Zoo is like literally super knowledgeable about the game. Like Zoo knows how to like pivot down to with Marth. And Vish, you know, just got done placing top 64 at this event. So I don't know like what he's even referring to. Like, I wonder what. You need to realize commentary is for the noobs. It's not for you. I actually don't agree with this. Because no one commentates for noobs. Noobs don't know what the fuck commentators are talking about ever. Remember we were just watching Brawlhalla? I don't agree with this at all. I don't think we're good at... And then Dark Admo has amazing commentator opinions. Uh, so, you know. Commentary is system designed by top players to have mid-level players keep noobs where they belong at skill level. In fact, I'm going to choose violence today. That's very clearly sarcasm. Yeah, but I mean, he means something. I'm tired of slime hogging all the limelight, okay? I'm fucking tired of slime having being the only guy that gets to beef with people complaining about commentary. I want a piece of that pie. What, I used to be relevant. I used to be fucking relevant around these parts. People would complain about my commentary. No one complains about my commentary anymore. I miss those days. My Twitter timeline has been so fucking boring lately. But yeah, just like to this point, it, I don't think we do a good job um, commentating for the noobs. I really don't. Like, I was watching that Brawlhalla footage and I was like, dude, like, we just don't fucking comment. Like, if I was watch, I was watching that Brawlhalla stuff and I was like watching that match and I felt like the 
commentators were commentating in a way that I think I might commentate a crew battle, right? Talking about who might be advantage in the matchup. If this guy goes in, if this guy's a stock thief, blah, 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 all this shit. I was like, man, this is how I would commentate. And I, as someone who doesn't understand the game, I'm watching this and I actually don't know what the fuck is going on. And I wish the commentators would tell me, but they won't because they assume I have a certain level of understanding the game. And I don't think we do a good job commentating for new players. In fact, I don't think commentary is for new players at all. I think it's only for new players in the sense that we try to sound like we're having fun and we try to sound excited so that the new players feel like they should be engaged. But I don't think we do a good job catering new players, man. How do we fix this? What do we do better? I don't know what to do. It feels like it's impossible to make everybody happy. I think Ludwig and Slime do a good job of commentating for new players. Because they're on their stream, right? PP, I will say, has a kind of a, you know, he has a f level. He's like a flat level to his commentary, you know what I mean? So, if anything, that was on me to, like, try to... I mean, I try to play to my comment, my co-commentator strengths and weaknesses as much as I can. And I know PP, you know, has a tendency to kind of go on longer explan explanatory bits, Right? Man, I wonder what Spark was... Spark was complaining about Zoo and Fish. Zoo knows a lot about Melee. Zoo probably knows more about Melee than Spark. This is the thing. I don't ever understand why people complain about... Com people complain about commentary and they're like, the only person who's ever offered actual, legitimate, constructive criticism on my commentary ever has been Leffen. The only person. People, like to, people love to say, man, commentators say all this stuff and don't mean anything. You guys should listen to yourselves. The people shitting on commentary, you guys should hear how you guys said on Twitter. You guys are saying a bunch of words about how you hate commentary, but you can't put into a sink. You, it's all conceptual and mystical, and you couldn't actually tell us what you hate about our commentary. The only person who's ever said anything that's been constructive about commentary at all has been, has been left in. And he said that, you know, and this is something that I, I took that feedback and was able to actually work on it, was... Uh, that he basically said that most melee commentators are pretty bad at commentating floaty matches. They just don't understand the neutral goal, the neutral game goals. They don't understand the win conditions. And I was like, you know what? That's actually very fair. Um, and I felt like, damn, yeah, okay, we should probably do Scar did his whole thing where he went and started commentating more matches from the Jigglypuff's point of view. I feel like most people that complain about commentary, I have no idea what Spark is even talking about. Anyway, and then uh, I called out the male hell guy because I fucking hate this dude. <laughs> I've been shitting on commentators for over a decade. If you guys are wondering why I called him out, it's because he's subtweeting me. Basically, we used to beef like 10 years ago. And I was like, you thought I forgot about that shit? I know he can beat my commentators. Don't think I forgot. I got a sharp brain. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we do it. I don't know how we do a better job. When I commentate on BTS Smash, I have no idea who the fuck is watching. I don't know. I wish we had demographics available. Data of like this many people have played Melee for this many months. This many people have played Melee for this many months. This, this many people have never played at all. This many people have played for years. This many people are top 100. I wish I knew that. And I would literally tailor my commentary to that. You know what I mean? But I, I don't know. So uh, I want to pull like with big tournament streams for Smash, like exactly how many people are of, you know, what the, what the demographic breakdown is in terms of how long each, 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 like how long people have been playing. Because I, I just don't think we do good. Like this has been, this is apparently this is a very common viewpoint is that like commentary is for noobs, it's not for top players, but like I, I think we do, a, I think commentators literally do a better job than uh, commentating for other good players than for for noobs. Because we say things like, wow, uh, he got the, you know, uh, he got the pivot tipper on the on the DI there off of the 50-50. And like, I, I mean, I just think that a top player, if I asked my girlfriend who's in the other room what that means, she would not be able to tell you. And if I asked a top player what that means, they'd be able to tell you. So I think we literally do, I think this is just, the opposite. I think it's just the opposite. I think commentary currently is for top players. You feel this when you turn FGC streams? I think what keeps the viewers going in environments like that is you just like how it sounds. And you kind of like, you don't really know what they're saying. He's like, oh, sick fuzzy there from blah, blah, blah. And you're like, damn, what's a fuzzy? I wish PB wasn't explaining like everything. Yeah, he does want to explain everything. And the reality is Melee is too fast and you can't. The only set where we can explain everything or, or we can attempt to try is Kalamazoo versus Two Saint. Yeah, exactly. You, if you try to break stuff down for newer players, you just can't. There's too much. There's just too much.
There's too many things happening. Melee is just too fast of a game. People is a bit too big brain explaining some situations. I mean, the and, and the thing about it is too many things happen. So there was a moment where, I don't, I don't remember who it was, Wizzy did something really smart and it was really weird. It was like a really weird, interesting interaction. But PB was mid-sentence explaining something else, so I didn't get to talk about it. So it's like, the problem with that style of commentary is that if you try to explain every aspect of certain interactions, you will naturally miss other interactions because... Things will happen in, in the interim. And that's why I feel like in really fast-paced matches, you actually just have to go more macro. You have to zoom out a little bit. You can really impactful interactions, like if it, if it leads to the taking of a stock or if it opens up a big combo, which then you have some down, like, you know, you have some time while well, the combo's happening to talk about this, that, or the other. Then, yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But it's 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 really tough when... Um, if it's just something in the middle of a of stock, it's 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 like you're gonna you're gonna naturally miss out on other things if you start if you start getting too analytical. And it's it's tough because it's melee. I think other fighting games, other video games, it's easier. Best way to commentate for newer players is the way wife used to explain storylines of the players, the types of players there are. Yeah, prog is like that, scar is like that. And I think it's really good. I think it's really, really good. I think I could have done a better job of that today. I don't even think melee commentary necessarily turns away viewers unless unless it's egregious. Yeah, no, it's true. I don't think it turns anybody away, but it doesn't ensnare people. And I was watching that Brawl Hollow. So context here, right? I was watching some Brawl Hollow. I, I opened up because I was we we're talking about platform fighters beyond melee, and people started mentioning Brawl Hollow. I, I opened up some random Brawl Hollow tournament from today, and we're watching like a match from Brawl Hollow. And I was I realized very quickly, holy fuck, I have no idea what's going on. And I wanted, in that moment, I was like, I wish the commentators would, would tell me some of the stakes here. I wish they would tell me what the goals for each of these characters is. And you're just not going to get that. And so I quickly tabbed away from the video because I don't play the game. So while I agree that I don't think our commentary today turns away players, I don't think we do a very good job keeping new players uh, with commentary. And you know what I think? You know what I really think? I think this is a big opportunity for newer commentators. I think there's a very, um, there is like a niche right now. Like if I was an up and coming commentator, I might even suggest this to like Radar and Turn Down for Walt. I would like brand myself. I would position myself as like the commentator who is helpful to new audiences. Like um, someone in chat, Luigi GP, like Luigi was saying, uh, you know, Toph, like you and Scar's commentary was what got me into Melee. Like, if you target it, because we used to commentate for new players, we used to actually make an effort, especially during top eights, especially, especially during top eights of FGC tournaments, Evo, et cetera, et cetera. We made an effort to do that, right? And I would do that. Like, I would become the new age person that did that if I was like an up and coming commentator. And I would, you know, and, you know, five years from now, there are going to be players saying, hey, you're the reason I got into, got into Melee. And that's exactly it, man. You know who actually made a dope tweet today that I really liked? Uh, Leffen. Leffen. I don't want to play an old game. So this is a point, uh, Kaiser Wave. And this is an interesting point. I don't want to play an old game because there are too many good players now. Well, you might as well give up sports and hobbies and every, everything else because why would you get into painting when there's too many good painters? But Leffen, uh, you know, why would you get into basketball? There's too many, you know, when LeBron James exists and people playing basketball for 100 years. Right, whatever. Levin's saying the, 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 this is a, a little bit of a misunderstanding because the real point isn't that people think there's too many good players. The people think that there aren't other other new players to play with. So people are like, man, I can't get into melee because who am I going to... Are there other new melee players that I can that I can grind with? And, and you know, like, they don't want to feel like they miss the boat. They don't want to feel like they're the only person investing when when the stock is already you know what i mean they don't want to they don't want to buy when the when the stock is already hot like right they they want to get in on something so they're like well shit i should i should play a new game that has new players that i can play with it's fomo it really is fomo so so it's cuz with like right chess great example you're not going to say man i'm not going to get into chess there's too many good players well you know with chess if i go on to chess.com right now there are a trillion you know shitty 1300s or whatever i'm a what am I around? 1360 right now? There's a thousand shitty 1300, a million, thir, you know, 1300s, probably more than a million that, that I know I'll be able to play with and that, that so I'll never feel like I'm missing out. I also know the game's going to be around for a long time. And I do think that Melee has that going for it. Um, I do think that uh, with Melee, there is kind of this aspect of like, you know the game's going to be around for a long time. You know the game's not going to just die overnight. Right? 
So that's that's positive. Um, and I think that does help uh, like kind of make people feel like they should play it. But I do think that it can feel intimidating when it feels like there's no other new players. And that's why, I mean, I don't even think... I should even... You know what? I'm even going to make a Twitter thread on this right now. I'm not even going to quote tweet. I'm going to let people find the tweet, which is not going to be very hard because I already quote tweeted Dark Emma. All right. That's pretty much all my viewpoints. I think that's kind of where I'm at. It's just like... Locals... Locals, like... <sighs> sports are such a weird comparison point. Because, like, with sports, like... You know what I mean? All right. He fouled him because he touched him. So now what's going to happen is he's going to have free throws. And the way free... Like, no one's going to fucking explain... You know what I mean? No one's... You're not expecting the sports game. But, like... Video games aren't like that. <laughs> Video games aren't like that, dude. Because I even I even almost think that like a, a big part of it is like how sports are watched versus how esports are watched. People watch esports all the time by themselves in their computers or whatever. Um sporting events you you're with your friends, someone will explain it to you honestly often if if you don't know what the fuck is going on. Similar for niche sports Exactly. Exactly. It's not fair to complain uh, to compare melee commentary to like basketball, football. We should be comparing our commentary to like fucking curling, straight up. That's the way. That's the way we should think about commentary. We should go watch Olympic curling commentary. Maybe it's not very good. I've I've no idea if they're good or not. But we. That's actually what we should be doing. Cricket. Uh, you know. Fucking. Uh, underwater basket weaving. Commentary should be trying to get the idea of why it matters over. Why do these players matter? Why does that matter? Yeah, Scar is really good at that. Prog was really good at that. I think that's ultimately why me and Scar's dynamic is really good is because, like, Scar is really good at that, and then he lets me do... Because, like, when I first commentated, I wanted to just be the guy that explained really nuanced things like PP, and I I think I do it somewhat, I guess, faster than PP, but not, not that... Again, I like PP's commentary, but, you know, whatever. Um... They used to say Wobbles. Wobbles was the guy where people were like, oh, he takes too long to wrap up his point or whatever. I mean, I love Wobbles' commentary. It's, to me, it's to me, it's just different flavors, but whatever. Um, I got into commentary because I wanted to talk about really specific nuanced bullshit, right? That's why I loved it. And so Scar lets me do that because like when I commentate with Scar, I have full faith that he will do all the Scar stuff and I don't have to do any of the Scar stuff. When I commentate with people like PP, I have to do this. I have to become Scar, right? When I commentate with... And I, I can do that. I think our, our 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 dynamic today was really good. I think me and PP, maybe we could have done a better job. Someone in chat said something. What did you say? We could have done a better job with um, maybe the stakes. But I think we did a decent enough job talking about like, well, this is for Summit. You know, that that helps. We could have talked about the players a little more, intro the players a little more, all this, all this shit. But yeah, ultimately, like the original thing that brought me to, some, to, to, to commentary was like, kind of getting to do the, the, the analysis isn't even the right word, but just to kind of geek out, you know what I'm saying? And, um, Scar lets me do that. So that's why I like commentating with Scar. Uh, I think me and Prog in another life, like we commentated a little bit back in the day, but we, we didn't get to commentate a ton. I think me and Prog would have been a, uh, he would have been like my ideal non-Scar partner. Lovage is really good these days. Lovage is kind of like me though. Lovage is kind of like me where Lovage will just adapt to his co-commentator. Like, so when I commentate with Lovage, if anything, we end up kind of doing the same thing. So it feels like, it's like, it's funny. It's actually perfect because it's like, it's like Double Fox. Like we're like playing Double Fox. Like we just do everything. We both do everything. Um, and then when Lovage commentate, like we just, and, and then I find Lovage, he'll do the scar thing. And he's like, oh, but Tov, don't you see what's going on right now? This is going to, this is going to come down to this one moment. And I'm like, oh, fuck, you're right, Oscar, blah, blah, blah. And so we kind of end up doing the same thing. With Scar, I can just leave the scar shit to him and I can focus on the, nitty gritty stuff so that that's a good uh for me that works out really well that's why i really like uh commentating with scar and then summit throws a whole wrench thing because there's four people with four people you never know who's gonna talk you never know who's, whose turn is to talk it's usually pretty chaotic but it's also fine because the vibe kind of lends itself to that for a long time i thought i was pretty shit at commentating summits did you guys know that i thought for a long time like man i can't do i'm terrible at summit i thought my commentary at a lot of smash summits was kind of mediocre they kept inviting me back for some reason. I think it's because they invited me back because I'd do a good job at other events. Then I'd go to Summit, and then I'd have shit commentary. And then they'd be like, maybe we should invite this guy back next time. And then I'd commentate something else good. And they'd be like, ah, maybe we'll invite this guy back. We like his commentary. And then I'd go to Summit and have bad commentary again. 
But I think over the years, I've learned how to commentate Summit. I think I've gotten a lot better at it. Um, but it is different. It is very different, for sure.